Dear students, today we shall take up on the topic geological time scale. What is the Earth time scale? The geological time scale is a record of the life forms and geological events in Earth's history. Scientists developed the time scale by studying rock layers and fossils worldwide. Radioactive dating have determined the absolute divisions in the time scale. Divisions of geological times first eras. Eras are subdivided into periods. Periods are subdivided into epochs. That means era, period, epochs. E plus P is equal to EP. Divisions of geological time. Geological time begins with Precambrian time. Precambrian time covers approximately 88% of the Earth's history. The four eras are Precambrian, 88% of Earth history, Paleozoic, which is ancient life, 544 million years ago, which was lasted 300 million years, Mesozoic, which is a middle life, 245 million years ago, lasted 180 million years. Cenozoic is a recent life 65 million years ago, continues through this present day. Today we are in the Holocene epochs of the Quaternary period of the Cenozoic era. Paleozoic era, ancient life, the Cambrian period is the first period of the Paleozoic era, age of the trilobites. Explosion of life in the ocean began during this era, this pelagic era. Most of the continents were covered in warm shallow seas. Invertebrates were dominant, like uh, trilobites. Fish emerged during this time. Fish led to the arrival of amphibians. The end of the pelagic era is called the age of the amphibians. Early land plants, including mosses, ferns and corn bearing plants. The early coal forming forests were also formed during this time. Much of the limestone quarried for building and industrial purposes, as well as the coal deposits of Western Europe and the Eastern United States were formed during this Pelagic era. The Cambrian opened with the breakup of the world continents. Rodinia and closed with the formation of Panjaya as the art continents came together once again. This event is thought to have caused the climate change that led to mass extinct extinction event. The Appalachian Mountains were formed during this time. At the end of this Palazoid, the largest mass extinction in history wiped out approximately 90% of all marine animal species and 70% of land animals. Possibly, the possible causes of this mass extinction event could be lowering of sea levels when the continents were rejoined as Panjaya, what we call it conversion boundary, increased volcanic activity through ash and dust, and climate changes to cooler climate. Trilobites live in art and senses extinct before the dinosaurs came into existence. Cambrian period is known as the age of trilobites. Brachiopods, a marine animal that resemble clams, were also found in this period. Early fish without jaws, which did not have jaws, and some species of sharks were in existence at this time. Frill shark that was found in Japan in January 2007. This shark was considered a living fossil. Early land plants found were uh, mosses or cone bearing plants or ferns. Coming to Mesozoic era, the middle life. At the beginning of this era, the continents were joined as Panjaya. Panjaya broke off around the middle of this era. Reptiles became the most abundant animals because of their ability to adapt to the dry, drier climate of the Mesozoic era. Skin maintains body fluids, 
embryos live in cell. Mesozoic era is an era of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were also very active in this era. First small dinosaurs appeared in the Triassic period. Larger and more abundant dinosaurs appear in the Jurassic period. Small mammals and birds also appear during this era. The, anim the mammals were small, warm-blooded animals, hair covering their bodies. These characteristics help them survive in the changing environments. The main plant life of these times were uh, gymnosperms or plants that produce seeds but no flowers, pine trees example. Flowering plants appear during the end of this Mesozoic era. This era ended with a mass extinction even about 65 million years ago. Many groups of animals, including the dinosaurs, disappeared sudden, suddenly at this time. Many scientists believe that this event was caused by a comet or asteroid colliding with the Earth. Asteroid or comet collides with the Earth, huge cloud of smoke and dust fills the air, blocks out sunlight, plants die, animals that eat plants die, animals that eat plants eaters die. However, not all forms of life die during this event. Many animals that you see today are descendants from the survivors of this mass extinction event. Mesozoic plants are flowering plants that evolved towards the end of this Mesozoic era. Coming to Cenozoic era, the recent life, this began about 65 million years ago and continues till today. Climate was warm and mild. Marine animals such as quails and dolphins evolved. Mammals began to increase and evolve adaptations that allowed them to live in many different environments, land, air, and the sea. Grasses increased and provided a food source for grazing animals. Many mountain ranges formed during um, the Cenozoic era. Examples are Alps in Europe, then Himalayas in India, Rocky Mountains in USA. Growth of these mountains may have helped to cool down the climate. Ice age occurred late in this Cenozoic era, uh, we'll call it a quaternary period. As the climate changed, the animals had to adapt to the rise and fall of the oceans caused by melting of glaciers. This era is sometimes called the age of mammals. Marine animals examples like algae, molluscs, fish, and mammals. Land animals examples like bats, cats, dogs, cattle, and humans. Humans are thought to have appeared around 3.5 million years ago, du during the most recent period, uh, quaternary. Flowering plants were now the most common plant life. Life forms found in each era. We can list geological events found in each era. Then we can list life forms found in each era. We can draw pictures of life forms by using colors or make sure that you are putting them in the correct block. The geological time scale uh, recognizes the relationship among the units, uh, era, epochs, and period into which the geological time scale is divided. Uh, you can illustrate the vast diversity of life that has been present on Earth over time by using the geological time scale, summarizing how scientists study Earth's past environment and diverse life forms by examining different types of fossils, including moles, casts, petrified fossils, preserved and carbonized remains of plants and animals, and trace fossils. We can explain how art history has been influenced by catastrophes, including the impact of asteroids or comet, climate changes, volcanic activity that have affected the condition of on Earth and the diversity of its life form. Thank you.